teachers have read it. What was the best excuse for being late? That turned out to be true. I was the kid. Physics. 11th grade. The day prior to this day, my neighbor passed away, and her son was a friend of mine, and also in this class. Terribly long story, but it was a suicide by hanging, and I was the one who found her. I had nightmares all night, and skipped the first half of school the next day. When my physics teacher saw me later, she asked where I was that morning. Before I could explain, she said that friend was looking for you and concerned. He seemed more worried than he should have been and was a little upset about you not being there. The guy's mom died, but he still went to class, and didn't tell anyone, but was worried about me. I couldn't tell her what had happened at that point, so I just said I overslept. I had a student whose father had died, and had not done any homework or prep for the geography class. From what I heard the teacher scolded him for not doing so, but the student didn't want to say anything presumably sensitive issue, so his best friend shouted at the teacher don't you have any shame. His father died last night and the teacher said I don't care, there was an audible gasp, and I was in the next room. Needless to say, that teacher is no longer employed here. My sophomore year in high school, dad died. I missed a week of school. When I got back, I tried to turn in my English assignment. That was due the week I was out. Teacher won't accept it said it was late. I told her my father had just died, and that's why I was out. She said, I know, but it's still late. Went home told my mother. The next day, the principal, my guidance counselor and the superintendent had all contacted my teacher to rip her a new one. She had to accept my assignment. She was salty about that the rest of the year. That's craziness. Teachers like that should not be teaching. She had to take her sister to school and drive her mom to rehab. She was always late to class because her mom just wanted to sleep in. Problem was if the mom was late or did not go she would have violated her probation and gone to prison. I never marked her late. If she missed anything important she could come in at lunch or after school to make it up. You sound like an amazing teacher. Thanks for all that you do. My auto teacher let me practice removing and adding the tires on his vehicle. The next morning it was about 20 minutes into first period and no sign of him. He comes running into the classroom out of breath and his hair is all messed up. He points at me and says you. What is a torque wrench used for? I respond with I don't know. He says I know you don't know. Turns out one of his tires came off while driving down the highway. Honesty that's on him. You're an idiot if you don't check behind the student on something like that. Student here. I headed into school early to get some studying done in the library before my night class. I was one exit away when I was caught in a three car accident. Most of the expressway afterwards was gridlock with only one lane left up I did eventually make it into my lab class 15 minutes late, with a few scrapes and bruises. My professor's reaction was simply oh that was you. Not a student, but one of my teaching assistants, when I ran a preschool in West Philly. Sorry I missed yesterday, my friend shot my mom. Naturally, I'm a little speechless. Oh no it's okay, he was aiming for someone else. I was one of about 20 kids who were late to school. We showed up at the school office as a group, and when questioned why we were late, we said the school bus blew up. They questioned so the engine blew up the kids know, the whole bus, in flames. It blew up there was much conference between the teachers, all of them thinking we embellished the story. Next thing you know, one of the admin staff has the news website open. Very obvious image of an entire bus on fire with a bunch of kids in our school uniform standing in front of it. Our late slip for class read school bus blew up. If that happened I would walk home. Told me he got pulled over by the cops for wobbly driving on his bike, and they thought he was drunk. Turned out he was just dodging all the slugs on the street. A guy in my college class missed class one day. The next day he came in with his eye covered up, and medical paperwork in hand. Apparently he got pecked in the eye by a chick. School sporting event. Kid on our team was late, because someone stole his windshield wipers, and it was snowing out. Kept having to pull over to the side of the road and wipe off his windshield. After 9 over 11, my small town high school received bomb threats every week for 2 months, and they decided to make us attend school on a Saturday. 
Myself and about 5 others showed up for our classes, and every teacher said something like I can't wait for the excuses on Monday. Most of the excuses were something along the lines of family plans or whatnot, but one kid was made read his dad's note aloud to the class, because our first period teacher thought it was hilarious. In the most down south accent you can imagine, it went something like my son ain't too smart, but he knows you ain't supposed to get punished for someone else being a dumbass. Bought him a six pack, so he was drunk. Y'all can duck off. I wish we had smartphones to record back then, so I could share it. I'm not the teacher, but we were told that he had a paramedic student who on their way to write their final exam rolled their car into a creek, picked up whatever books they had out of their car, and ran the rest of the way to class. Obviously got there late and in tears. You better believe they had a different exam date. I missed my sat once, because the school bus got stuck in the ice. It was a residential school, so they didn't take snow days. Former student here. Sorry, boss, my stepdad tried to kill us last night, and I had to deal with the cops. Professor just looked at me for a moment and said. Dude do you want to like, go grab a drink, and talk about this after class, man, my English prof was a bro, when I was in college. When I was student teaching, I was late, because there was bunch chickens in the middle of the road, they won't move at all. This is in the middle of a city of 200,000 people. Freaking chickens. I finally get to school and profusely apologize to my mentor teacher and I told her why I was late thinking it sounded ridiculous. She said, yeah, those chickens are ducking as holes, they surrounded my car in the McDonald's parking lot last year. Don't worry about it. I had a 6 year old turn up late to her lesson and blurt out sorry I was late, I had to color in a bunny. Seems fair. Can't blame her. Coloring the bunny is an important job after all. Not teacher, but pupil. I was in a car crash on my way to school. About 5 cars involved, because some jerk decided to overtake us, since we slowed down coming to a turn. So a trip to the hospital to get checked, and then school 3 hours late. I had small cuts all over my face from glass flying everywhere, and had a really sore shoulder. But my teachers won't believe me until police showed up, because they forgot to get a statement from me. Apparently some of the other involved people died amd the jerk got 8 years in prison. In high school I biked to class. One day I hit a rock, and ate absolute sheet. I obviously got to class late. Before I could say a word my teacher stopped class, and said thank you for finally joining us, why are you so late? I raised my heavily bloodied hands and elbows. It must have looked bad, because she audibly gasped and rushed me to the school nurse apologizing non-stop the entire way. Edit, my B, I'm not a teacher. MTV paid me $50, to fill my backpack with cement, and carry it around for the day. I accepted that excuse. Student later regretted it, as a replacement backpack and college textbooks far exceeded $50. But he got his moment of fame and I didn't penalize him for his tardy. Gotta live a little. Edit. Someone found a newspaper article on this. Turns out it was $200. He earned $100 for the first day, and $100 when he returned the next day. I remembered $50, but it was 19 years ago. So ha, huh, I was right to believe him. He still lost all his stuff thanks cement, and I remember him telling me it wasn't worth it. And edit. Typo. What kind of idiot doesn't take his books out first? In my hometown, if you walked into anywhere late and said the phrase sorry, grain train you were never challenged. It was extremely common for 50 plus carriage trains to run through the middle of town. Bear on the backyard. No access gate. Animal control had to trunk it from the room and drag it through the house. Made the news. Got to retake the test timest after sending her the news article. Impink a fesk in student age 10 went with a friend to the Harley festival at a nearby Hindu temple where she was covered with red powder and dyed bright red from head to toe. Her mother, another teacher at the school, had made her sit for hours in the bathtub to soak it off, but even after another round of early morning shower scrubbing, she arrived at school a pleasant shade of pink. Technically, she wasn't late, but she stayed in her mother's classroom until the bell rang. I was the student. 
My neighbor had a really social goat, and she figured out how to escape her pen. In order to come over and hang out, she escaped and followed me to the bus stop, and when the bus came, she tried to follow me onto it. I couldn't actually get on the bus without her being right behind me, so I had to get off, bring her home, and call my dad to bring me to school. Edit, spelling, 